My favourite chef from the Northern Rivers, David Lovett, is in the kitchen today cooking a gorgeous recipe that's in your newest book, Big and Little. It is, indeed. It's essentially what I cooked for my son Lennox, mm. who uh, started eating solids at uh, six months old. Yep. And I sort of made a note of everything I cooked on Instagram, just thinking mm. it would be a bit of a laugh. Yep. A hundred and something recipes later, and there we are. Here we are. What yeah. are we making? So we're going to do zucchini with butter beans and oh. mint. And this is really simple. You can see there's five ingredients. Yep. Uh, and we can eat at any time of day, breakfast, lunch or dinner. Great. What can I do to help? Um, so we're going to start. We're going to warm a pan up. Yes. I'm going to get you to crush uh, those garlic. Just smash them with the side of the knife. They don't need to be small or anything because yep. we don't want them to burn. Uh, and I'm just going to chop these zucchinis. Medium size like this. Yes. Don't want them to be too big. They'll be full of. They'll be spongy in the middle, full of seeds. Um, and then you want them to be nice and firm. Mm. Try not to get any blemishes. Now I keep the tops and the tails on. Yes. So we don't want any wastage, and this is perfectly delicious to eat. Yeah, I mean that's a good little tip too. Like once it stews down, nothing. Yeah. If it's wrong a, if it's it. a little bit ratty yeah. on the end, um, you, you know, just trim that off. Yeah. Throw it in the compost. Yeah. Um, and now I'm just chopping these into nice big rounds okay. and we're going to cook them like that. We don't want them to go mushy or anything and they're yeah. keeping them whole like this and they're a beautiful round uh, vegetable. Mm. It's not, uh, not cube them or anything. So olive oil in. Yep. Again, you know, we, I'm quite liberal with my olive oil. So you can see we're going to cover the bottom of the pan there. And we talk about kids and the food that they like. Zucchini, a great one to introduce them to quite Absolutely. early. And the butter beans, again, a wonderful thing. If you introduce it early on, like really early on, there's no reason why they don't end up loving it. Absolutely, if they don't know any better, yes. if that's just the norm, yes. then uh, you'll find that they'll take to it and, you know, mm. they'll have, you know, most kids go through phases where they want to be defiant and that, <laughs> and Lennox has done that. Yeah. Um, but butter beans and cannellini beans, velocity beans, things like that, yeah. he have always been a sort of a mainstay mm. for him. He's a good kid, Lenny. He's a good boy. <laughs> So a pinch of salt. A couple of pinches yep. of salt. Now, yep. if I was cooking this for Lennox, yep. I wouldn't have seasoned it. I would season it at the end, remove his portion, yes. uh, and then and then season it at the end, because I don't want to give him any extra salt yep. at a young age. And I guess that's how it all started. I remember watching on Instagram um, you making these delicious dinners for your family and keeping a portion aside for him without the salt or, or a few other little things. And it just looked so delicious. It was the whole idea of my child is going to eat what I eat. Exactly right. You know, you don't want to be making two meals a night. No. If you're making this for dinner with a bit of roast chicken or, you know, some roast pork or something, you don't want to be doing that and then having to make something else. So if we can, you know, if you can make the same thing for everyone in the family, then, uh, you know, your life is a hell of a lot easier. Yeah. I love your way of thinking, David. So uh, I've just put a pinch of uh, dry chilli flakes in there. We're just going to let that cook for about 10 or 12 minutes with a lid on. So if you could pass me that lid. And then, if you don't mind picking half a bunch of mint there for me, uh, I'm going to fry an egg. Sounds good. So, fried egg is almost done. Let's finish this up. So, oh, smells so good. Butter beans in. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to leave them to sit. We're going to go lots and lots of fresh mint. Do you know what I love about your cooking, David? It's very generous. And we're serving this with a beautiful fried egg, but there are so many different ways of serving this. Like, it's the perfect breakfast with a fried egg. It's mm. a wonderful, wonderful way uh, to, you know, for lunch yes. with a big scoop of goat's curd or some fresh ricotta. Uh, and it makes a beautiful side to some roast pork or a roast chicken. Yep. Um, and if you've got any leftovers inside a jaffel or a toasted sandwich, it would be delightful. And butter beans, they're like this wonder ingredient, right? Because you don't need to add pasta or rice on the side. It, yeah, it works uh, in many, many ways. I'm thinking even just with a bit of fish. So They're good. beautiful with a piece of grilled fish, mm. absolutely. The list is endless. And going into spring, these are the things I crave, your zucchinis, mint, beautiful fresh eggs. So, the fried egg. Mm -hmm. A little pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. And just another. Always. <laughs> you love your olive oil. I do indeed. As long as it's good quality, it's going to be on the plate. Shall we have a taste? Absolutely, let's do it. I just love it. Oh, it's so perfect. Crispy egg. I taste the key. 
zucchini, olive oil. Your son, he liked chilli? Absolutely, yeah, a little pinch of chilli. And again, I started things like spices and that and heat uh, quite early on, again, mm. to build up his tolerance, I guess. Mm. And so it wasn't something that he need be, uh, need be afraid of. Mm. That's like so delicious. And the book, Big and Little, it's sensational. You're going to love it. Ha, ha, ha.